Spang Lee takes one step, two, three, little shudder. What a pin from Spang Lee again, and now the pressure goes back on the boys. Come on, Spang Lee. I trust that this is going to be a save. This is going to be a save. Oh! He saves it. What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and as you can see we have got a brand new co-op beta that is now live in eFootball. So this has been something I've been waiting on for ages. I told you something big was coming and it is finally here. It is a cup, it is a beta test so they do talk about that it won't be forever. They will probably change it and adapt it and add stuff to it. There was a big server overload as well so we did finally get on and get some games in the live stream but as you can see here the basis of this is to access the online performance and it's going to run from the 8th of June to the 22nd of June and then we'll see what the future holds for it um, and it is in friend match as well. So I'm just going to go through and run through this witchy and show you exactly what it is. A lot of people asking questions about what you can and can't do with it. So the one big drawback of it, before we get into the positives, the one big drawback of it is that you do need to have friends. <laughs> you do need to have friends. You do need to have people that you can organize games with. So we do have a Discord. I'll drop it in the link in the description below. You can set all your match room settings. You need to create a match room. As we're seeing here, you basically click on create match room as we saw on the first screen. And then you set your settings and then you put the match room and then you add the password and then people are able to join that match room with the password. So they can only join with the password. Once you, figure, once you get into that and you get into a match, you are basically going to get this little screen here. I think it's nice. I think it's simple. It's straight to the point. And you are going to get a selection of your players chosen to make up the squad. So it's a selection of eight players from my squad. Eight players from Serious Monkey Squad, who is one of the subscribers on the channel, and Mukhtar also comes in as well. He gets seven players from his squad. So you're starting 11 plus your uh, reserves or your substitutes on your game plan in your my team, uh, in your team, in uh, Dream Team. That is what it is. So it's your starting 11, um, and it takes a random selection from your, your bench and from your starting 11. So you can see here it's a random selection across. We did test out which players could be pulled in. I will have a video out on that as well, how to pick which players are pulled in. Um, but once you go in there, you have one guy that does all the tactics. So it's usually the leader. You can promote a guy to leader. Um, think of it like Warzone, where somebody that actually does the matchmaking and is the host, okay? Or the... the the actual main guy that you know goes into the menus and stuff okay if you're in part of a party so i do think they'll expand it now moving on to things lads i genuinely think that this is a massive breath of fresh air into eFootball. i've been enjoying eFootball v um or one one v one like i've enjoyed dream team i've enjoyed king collar with the road to glory and all that but if you are kind of somebody that is used to i don't know having like fun with your video games i think that that has been kind of missing from eFootball. Because it is very, you know, you are just playing to win, really. Um, no matter how casual that you keep it. Um, but I think co-op is a bread of fresh air, man. I mean, the only drawback, as I said, is that you do need to be able to organize the games. You can play against the AI as well. I will show you a video on that. You can play against the AI um, where basically your teammates are AI. You can set the difficulty that they're on. Um, so you can play, you know, I could play 1 of ye or I could play a 1v1 and it does fill the squad with AI. Um, so that has got pros and cons as well. But I genuinely think if you are able to, as I said, get on over to our Discord. There's loads of like-minded people on Xbox, PC, mobile, and PS4 and 5. If you want to organize your games, there's loads of match rooms set up. There's a lot of stuff popping off. Um, and we will be expanding that with tournaments and stuff. And I mean, genuinely, lads, this is a breath of fresh air for me. Look, eFootball does have issues, obviously. Every game does. But there's just something about this where it's just absolute banter. Like, it's just serious crack, even when the game is a bit, like, you know, of a bit of a mosh pit. I do think they need to tweak the gameplay to, in you know, integrate this a little bit better because it is kind of mosh pity uh, gameplay-wise. But other than that, I think it's fantastic. You can also do gold and gold rule, which is huge as well. I love that. And as I said, once you can organize a couple of games, you know, get involved with the community in the Discord, get involved over on our live streams. We will be hosting uh, matches. I'm going to be live streaming again today, later on, uh, when this video goes up. And it's just all about having the crack. And I definitely think we could have a lot of stuff going on with this. You can see here, eight minutes on the clock, ball comes in and we're put to the sword with that golden goal. There's about 12 of us in the box trying to clear it. But yeah, look, it is good. It's a great start, I think, to the beta. 
Um, I do feel like they need to expand it more. I do feel like you need they need to take everything that they're going to get feedback wise. There was a lot of people on today playing um the game because the server was overloaded a lot of times, so it was a little bit sticky. But the thing I do like about it is that everything seems to be going in the right direction as to what you want. Like if they do add back like clans and stuff, so that like I would be able to create a club effectively. And I could play with my club versus your club. So I could have a pick of seven or eight players. You know, you could do trials. You could do swaps and transfers. And, you know, I'm going playing for somebody else's squad. And they're recruiting me to play for their squad. You could do tournaments. You could do so much with it. If they just unlock the shackles a little bit or take off the shackles a little bit. You see here, you've got your rating. This calculates your positioning, your shooting, um, your 1v1 defensive dueling and positioning, your passing, your dribbling. And then it also has, you know, for assists, goals and everything. They also have kind of like this, um, this kind of cutesy thing here that you see here. They also have this where you can get your players um, ranked and you can get your ranking as an actual like part of the squad. So you can see here the three of us are going to have our ratings with our total points. That's done up on a graph. It's very clear. It looks fine, man. It looks good. Obviously, the graphics can do with an improvement. But for now, in a beta, I'm you know more than happy that even with all the niggles, even with all the issues, even with some gameplay stuff that I would like to see change, and I'll get into that in future videos, I do like you know the direction that it's going. I mean, look, to me, gaming is all about fun. If I'm not having fun, I'm not going to play it. So I did have a lot of fun with this. These are the awards that I'm talking about. They're kind of like medals. So you can see here that they're rated from gold, silver, and bronze. And then if you get you know, any of those, they're rated and ranked on a different scale um, of how high you go. So they do mean different things. I will have a full list of those up um, tomorrow as well because there's a lot, of still, a lot of ones that I'm still looking at. But yeah, look, it is an interesting inclusion and integration of the mode. Obviously, PES 2021 vibes on this are very strong. So if you are a newcomer to eFootball and you downloaded it free to play, you've never played PES before, you've you know always played different games or this is like your first uh, football game, PES 2021 co-op was one of the highlights of my uh, kind of like PES, um, I don't know, like plays or like whatever I'm trying to say. It was one of my like highlights of my Pe in my PES history of how good it could be. Like when you were playing with two like-minded guys that were like talking on a Discord, we're going to set up a Discord where we'll be in voice chat talking to people. So you'll hear the comms, you'll hear the tactics, you'll hear the banter, you'll hear the slagging and stuff like that. So I think it will get, it will get interesting, man. And it will get a bit banterish. Um, but yeah, look, that's pretty much co-op. Let's just give you a quick video on that in case you were wondering what it's all about and you're not able to get to your console today or until the weekend. Um, as I said, get involved in the comments Get involved in the live stream, get involved in the Discord if you're looking to play with me live on stream, and in Discord if you're looking to organize games with fellow like-minded people, or if you want to take part in the eFootball Universe tournaments I'm going to be hosting. And yeah, that's it for me. I'll be back quite soon. Peace.